again. Ball's got to hit a rack. Ball's got to hit a cushion. If it doesn't, it's a foul. Oh my foul goodness. Shot. It's Ball a foul shot, hand. exactly. What a time for that to happen here for Wu. That is a monumental error. In the world of nine ball pool, that is a massive error because the most important part about that shot was to get a ball to hit a cushion afterwards. He was trying to get a good safety behind the six, and in doing that, he risked playing it too softly. He was that, well, an inch away from leaving Wu with the biggest problem of his, of his short career. And right now, it begs the question. Pressure. Can Wu come back? Right now, he's back on the table and looking to clean up. He certainly can come back. Well, he's got the goods, that's for sure. What I don't know if, is whether he's capable of, at this stage of the tournament, keeping, keeping himself together to run five racks on a nine-ball pool table. I'm not saying he hasn't got the, the capability and the technique and talent, but it would be a shame should a stupid error present this match to Quo, especially after Quo has bought at clinching this. Exactly. Boy, Quo was ever so close, as you mentioned, maybe just an inch. If it hit that rail, this could be definitely a different story. But right now, Quo Po Cheng pondering his mistake. But he may just get another chance, especially since we mentioned he's sitting on a quite comfortable lead. But that lead can go away in a flash here, Steve. Well, it can go away a lot quicker than it can on a on a snooker table, that's for certain. Well, just bearing down right now is Wu Tsing. Wouldn't he dearly love to knock this nine ball in and run a very quick next rack? Well, he's surely going to try. And right now, he's halfway there. He draws to within three. With his grandma looking on once again. That's Grandma's blue. There was the shot that caused the problems for Quo. Just didn't have enough pace. Perhaps he was hoping to catch the nine ball full in the face. Or perhaps miss the nine ball completely. He got the worst possible connection on that nine ball. You see the importance of the rule on the nine ball pool table that a ball has to be driven to a cushion after contact because it would have been very easy for Quo to have just rolled up behind that six ball had it not been for that rule. The clever rule in the game, I don't know how long Wood it's been in the rule in the game, but uh, certainly makes the players think a little bit harder, especially when you're escaping from a, a safety as well. So, Wu, if ever he needed a good break and a quick whack run, <laughs> that's one to say this time of night, a quick rack one. Here it is. Trying to first knock down the wing ball, which in this case is a black eight. He does that, launches himself in, and they're all going down here. It is just as the doctor ordered. To maybe calm himself down, give him some more of that momentum back. And look at this, a great shot at the two. He's shown great composure all week. Just needs to keep it together now, and hope that Quo cracks up somewhat. Well, with your opponent on the hill, there's definitely no more room for errors. What a Cinderella story this would be if he were just to run out the game from here. Boy, oh boy, that's right. It's the stuff legends are made of. They're going to be talking about that all the way up to the 2006 edition of this tournament. If he could do this, all the five-year-olds in 10 years' time will be saying, I remember the first time I watched with my father, the great Wu run out, five racks on the trot. He's got to take it one ball at a time, one rack at a time, and not take anything for granted. But it's at the situation in the match where he, he can't afford to take anything for granted. It may be just the tonic he needs. Can he let his obvious talent with his left hand has been so phenomenal throughout this tournament? Can he just let it flow? Can he run five racks?
Three more balls to manage here for Wu. Quo still has some breathing space. So he isn't wriggling too much in his chair just yet. But what about if another one goes awry? So many questions still to be answered here in Kaohsiung. And Wu Chaqing here with his third run out gets to within two. A four for Chang. And so the plot thickens once again. Perhaps those prayers are being answered. The grandmother puts her hands together. Who would dare? deny her the chance for her grandson to become one of the greats of nine ball pool. Let's turn you over now to Jim and to Bob. Well, Bob, or sorry, Bob, Bob, you've changed. <laughs> Nick Halling alongside Jim White. And uh, Nick, I'll tell you what, very quickly, this match has a serious pulse. Tense moments out there. It's not been a classic, Jim. Nobody would try and argue that. But for dramatic content, this match is right up there. And we haven't got to the last chapter yet. Look at this, Wu's got another shot. That's well, a you can't take your eyes off. Remember in the knockout stages, last 32, Raj, Hundal, and Rodney Morris. Hundal was on the verge of a victory. 9-6, Morris took the last four breaks and outs to snatch victory from the jaws of defeat and that is what Wu was trying to do here and you know something for me Nick his pace is quick is that good or bad that's the question time will tell there's been so many errors in this match coming from both cues one more now and you feel that will be the last nail and you know something when you give a match up for lost sometimes the pressure is gone all of a sudden that back arm loosens but I can also tell you the pressure comes back very quickly when all of a sudden you realize you're in with a chance again. And at 16-14, he's probably still feeling like he's got a long ways to go. Getting back to 16-15, we start getting nervous in the com box. Well, we are. It's sweaty palm time up here. Wu's just got to say three racks. One ball at a time, but of course, in the back of his mind, he knows this game well enough to know that one bad break and it could all be over. And sometimes those breaks are just out of your control. This is the big shot right here. A thin cut on the six. You got to bring that cue ball off the side cushion, Nick, with a lot of left hand spin. Again, settling himself. If he misses this, Jim, this championship is over. What a pressure shot. As he lifted up, I'm not too sure he thought it was in. He was up very quickly off the cue. Oh, boy. Nothing's going in clean right oh, now. This is, this is when you get that queasy feeling in the pit of your stomach. And this isn't a giveaway either. He's got to earn this one, and he does. And he's still in there, still swinging. The mayor is being treated to what is promising to be a photo finish here in Kaohsiung. 16-15 in favor of Quo. And the way that Wu is, or Wu is motoring now, I'll tell you what, who's to say he can't win two more racks? win the closest final well that we've had in recent memory 1715 back in 2000